We are not the chosen people. We wrote that book. <laughs> Spoiler alert, we wrote the book that said we're the chosen ones. We're the ones God favors. We wrote that. I'm Frank Farish and I endorsed this video. And then an Israeli came to Earth, became prime minister and said, you know what, I'm gonna give you a fair deal. Zionists killed him. Zionists killed the man who tried to make peace. His name. Look who it is, folks. It's my pally. Frank, is that you? Oh, Frank Barris, nice to see you, man. Handpaw? Handpaw, yeah, nice, man. So where'd you get the iPhone, man? Someone bought it for me, yo. They knew that Mind Scroll Films can't function without, you know, a camera, so they thought they would just go ahead and give me a camera. And now I have a camera again. Isn't that freaking amazing? Yeah, it is, man. That's crazy. I'm so happy for you, man. What happened to that great footage of us, you know, making world peace? You know what happened to it, Pally. They took it from us. Those mean, mean Biden goons. Don't let the Biden goons get you down, man. Right? So, uh, I see your Zionist buddies got their ass kicked. First of all, they're not my buddies. <laughs> I know, I'm kidding. Second of all, what you, you take away a Palestinian's hope that they will ever get out of the tents that they've been waiting in since 1948. Waiting. Will we get some sort of a homeland? And then an Israeli came to Earth became prime minister and said, you know what, I'm gonna give you a fair deal. His name, remember his name? Yitzhak Rabin, he, he was a peacemaker, man. What'd they do to him? They killed him. The Palestinians killed him? No, nope. Zionists killed him. Zionists killed the man who tried to make peace. What does that tell you about Zionists? They're duplicitous. Look, man, they want a greater Israel. They want the whole region, and you know, people live there, so there's a problem. This is the problem. You know, as a Jew, you kind of have an obligation, man. I know, this is what I'm saying. I can speak truth about Israel, and the fact that if you build a civilization on lies, which are... Lies? What do you mean lies? Well, first of all, that Jews are better than everyone else. We are not the chosen people. We wrote that book. <laughs> Spoiler alert, we wrote the book that said we're the chosen ones. We're the ones God favors. We wrote that. So, uh, sorry. <laughs> Don't take it serious. The entire Zionist regime is based on that concept, and you know this. Exactly. That's the problem. We bomb Palestinian babies and just look the other way. We build settlements and destroy Palestinian homes and look the other way. And then they fight back and we go, oh my God, look at how they killed our babies. And they're like, but you killed our babies. And, and then, and here's the thing. They switch it up, right? Oh, but it's the way they killed our babies that makes them so inhuman. So now we get to kill them all. I mean, it makes, that's, the, that's what's going on right now. This is what Netanyahu has wanted since he was a teenager, bro. Probably before that. They're about to wipe Gaza off the map, and then there's nothing we can do to stop it. Uh, the world's gonna be at war, Frank. I think it already is, Pally. Uh, no one knows that better than me, man. You gotta, you gotta stop I'm in Ukraine, dude. There's almost no Ukrainians left. We have to keep killing them because you keep giving them weapons and telling them to fight us. It doesn't make sense. We deserve safety. I know. And this is what we talked about before they stole my footage. This is how we make world peace. You have to see Russians as humans who don't want NATO nukes on our border, period. The United States said very plainly over and over again that they would not expand NATO. And then they expanded NATO. And then they started killing Russian speaking Ukrainians for eight years after the United States instigated a coup. What are we supposed to do? Not fight to protect Russians being murdered by Nazis? <sighs> you know, there's only one candidate who wants peace, though. Well, if, if you could win the race, Frank Barish, 
That would be great. But other than that, it looks like it's going to be a world war. Well, I guess I'm going to have to try. You guys going to vote, road, uh, vote for Frank Barris on election day? See, I said that wrong because I was all wound up from the coffee. I started drinking coffee again. Oh boy, here we go. Frank's back on the coffee. What does this mean? Does this mean you're really going to run for president? Instead of just pretending, bro? I guess. I don't know. Should I? Should you? Should you, Frank Barris? The world is depending on Frank Barris to win the election. Do not let the world down, Frank Barris. Do not let us down, Frank Barris. Okay, I guess. You endorse me though, right? <laughs> oh, thou speaketh in jest. Of course I endorse you, Frank Barris. You're the only candidate who wants peace. You're the only candidate who will stop war. You are Frank Barish, and Americans should write you in. That's 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 what I'm saying, and you know I think the world agrees because you will stop the war. I will try. You gotta do better than that, Pally. I, I can't. Okay, well I'll have to do then. Well, have a nice day, Frank. Good seeing you again. Glad you got an iPhone back. <laughs> I got an iPhone now. I can make films like this again. Just you and me chatting. Just, uh, you know, the leaders of two superpowers having a conversation about the future of the planet. No big whoop. That's what I'm saying. You have a good day, Pally. You too, Frank Barish. Good luck with that election. The world's counting on you, pal. Whoa, whoa. excuse me. Pardon me. Okay, there goes. A little talk with my buddy there. See you later, pal. Adios, Frank Barish. The world loves you, man. Good luck. Thanks, Pally. I'm gonna need it. I'm way behind. Way behind. And you know, I'm homeless. So, uh, Frank Barish for America. It's just, uh, me and my stuff and my imaginary friends. I mean, real friends. I'm Frank Barish and I approve this message. There's my buddy. <laughs> it's me and the bear making world peace, oh yeah. Why is it that America never keeps its promises? Never, never. There's no treaty where America's like, yeah, no, I stuck to that. Why? Bad leadership? <laughs> you better win this election, Pally. No pressure. If Russia got caught participating in a coup and then we used Mexican troops to start a war with you, what would you do? America makes it like, we're the problem, but did you know what's behind us, bro? China, bro. You can't beat China. China can kick your ass twice, every day, for the rest of the year, pal. Is that a Russian saying? It, 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 sure, it sure is, man. Anyway, you can't beat them because your system's corrupt. All your military money goes to planes that don't fly. Tanks that can't go more than eight hours because they have a jet engine. You think we, we're not laughing at you for putting a jet engine in a tank? Thanks, America. Thanks, American military industrial complex for making the tank so easy to find from space, you idiots. It's all about money. And, and that's our, it's just the corruption. This leads to the downfall of every civilization. Well, at least you know what's gonna happen next. I could prevent it though, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, just win that election and you can prevent the downfall of America. <laughs> good luck, though. Again, I am going to need this good luck everyone keeps offering me because I'm way, way behind. I'm Frank Barish and I approve this message. You have a fine day, my friend. You too, Frank. Peace. Peace, brother. Frank Barish for America and the world, oh yeah, write him in, Americans, you can save the world, if you write in Frank Barish, oh yeah. Oh, thanks for doing that commercial, Pally, I appreciate that. I'm just a bear on the wall, man, but I support Frank Barish for America. Aw, oh, shucks, pal, thank you. Frank Barish? Oh my goodness.
<laughs> right? Frank Barry Show, yeah! You will not be able to stay home, brother. Here's the dilemma we find ourselves in in America. What do you mean America? It's the whole world, pal. Touche. Touche, pally. You're right. Haha! <laughs> Spoiler alert! We wrote the book that said we're the chosen ones. We're the ones God favors. Thank you. Don't take it serious. Wouldn't that be funny? 